Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. In today's video I will show you how to create this animation effect when you play your game. So if I just click on play, you can see that my character will actually uh, fade in and play an animation as you can see and I can't move or anything and he will stand up and then we can play. So it's a very smooth animation uh, to have in your game. So instead of just uh, starting your game like this, we can actually have an animation playing uh, at the start of the game to make it more uh, immersive. And everything is customizable, so you can change the values and everything like that to make it how you want it. But this is for the tutorial, and this is how it looks for me. As you can see, I will actually stand up. So I wake up on the floor, and I will stand up, smoothly stand up, and then just smoothly transition to the uh, player. And then I just can play the game as usual. So yeah, let's start with the video. So what I'm going to do first is to actually make a new folder. So right click in your content browser, then click on new folder, and then name it opening cutscene. Like that. Then go into the folder, create a new folder, and name this waking up on floor or whatever your uh, animation will be. But for this tutorial purpose, I will actually wake up on the floor. So go into that, and then we will actually make a new animation sequence. So right click, then we want to go to cinematics, level sequence. And then we will name this, um, let's say, waking up on floor, uh, opening, and then sequence, like that. Then after that, we can actually go into it. So double click. And once we're in here, we want to click on this camera icon right here. So it will actually create a new camera, so we can edit our uh, the actual sequence in. So just click on this camera, and then as you can see, it created a camera automatically for us. And now as you can see, it is very zoomed in, so we can fix that easily by just changing the current focal length right here. And the standard value for this camera is 35, and as you can see, it is very zoomed in. And the setting I want to use is uh, 15 like that so as you can see now when I set the current focal length to 15 the camera actually zooms out and goes to the standard uh, field of view now you can change this to however much you want but 15 will work great for me and then after that I actually want to position the camera where I want the animation to start so I want to start on the floor so I will just go down here and start at the floor right here but of course you can start anywhere in your level so maybe in a bed or in a, a cell or in a floor like me uh, so just position the camera where you want the animation to start and what we'll do next is change the length of our um, animation so as you can see here we have this graph and this is actually where we will edit all of the animation and right now the animation is set to 5.5 seconds long, but we want our animation to be longer. So just select this number and then just type in 15. So I want my uh, animation to be 15 seconds long. And after that, we want to drag this red uh, line to the 15 mark, like that. And also drag our actual uh, sequence to the end of that as well so 15 just like that so now our animation length is 15 seconds long but we haven't added any keyframes to know where the player camera should uh, start and be so this is actually very easy to create so if i just scroll down again we have this transform right here and if i click on this key so just click on this key right there it will actually add a keyframe for us and this keyframe is this camera position so if i just drag this to what maybe one second 
and then change the camera position like that and add another keyframe you can see that we already have an animation so this keyframe is this location and this keyframe is this location and these two will smoothly uh, transition with each other as you can see so that is how the keyframes work and we add a keyframe by clicking on this plus icon uh, right beside the transform so i will just delete that and make it a lot better so if we start at zero seconds i want the player to take about two seconds so we can just change this number to two to go to the two second mark on the uh, animation and once the uh, camera has taken two seconds i want it to be right there so the camera will actually take two seconds to go to this position so add a transform uh, key so just click on this uh, plus icon right there and now as you can see we actually added a keyframe like that and if i want to see how this looks we can actually go to the start and we can click on this play right here and as you can see that is our animation so far but of course we want to add more so once the camera has actually looked uh, at this location i want it to look down and go a bit up so the actual uh, player will stand up so what i want to do now is to drag this uh, arrow right here to about the four second mark and then i want to position the camera uh, to where i want it to be so i will just uh, move the camera like we usually do like that a little bit up and then just slightly uh, move the camera down and then i will add another transformation uh, key right here as well so now as you can see i have this animation and that animation was a bit too fast as you can see I looked there and then I just stood up immediately, which isn't really that realistic because we want it to smoothly uh, look uh, good. So what I want to do is to actually drag this keyframe uh, to about 5 seconds uh, so it isn't as fast. So now as you can see when I play, we will look there and then we will smoothly transition upwards and then uh, it is done with that keyframe. So after that, I want to add another keyframe, so I will just drag you onto the 7 seconds mark, like that. And then I want to just move the camera a bit more upwards, trying to stay in the same location. And maybe like that. And then add another keyframe. And let's see how that looks. So he will stand up like that that looks great and then after this keyframe i wanted to take about yeah 2d9 seconds mark right there and i want the camera to look down so we'll just stay in the same position but just drag the camera a bit down add another keyframe and then go to the 11 seconds mark and drag the camera up and also the player like that so this is how it looks like so far just like that And then after this keyframe, I want to go to the 15 seconds mark, so at the end of our animation, and I want to just make sure that it is upwards right, like that, and add another keyframe. Just like this. So this is how our animation is looking at right now.
So as you can see, it is pretty smooth, but I would just change some things to make it look even better. And you can do this as well. So pause the video right now and make sure that it looks uh, great. And make sure that it looks smooth and uh, looks good. So I will just change some things up. So now I have actually uh, changed some things in the sequence to make it look even better, and now my sequence, and now my sequence is actually done. So the animation is done, but we are still not done yet. We want to add a fade in effect. So when the game starts, it will start as a black screen, and then it will actually fade in, so you can actually see uh, the environment. So that is actually pretty easy to do. So just select this number right here. Click on the zero to go to the zero second mark. And then we want to go to add right here. We want to add a fade track. And then we want to select the fade track. We want to go to the zero seconds. So make sure that it is here right here. And then change the fade to one. So it is pitch black. And then just click on this little icon right there to add a keyframe for the fading track. And I want it to take about 5 seconds for the fading to actually go to zero, so you can actually see again. So just go to the 5 seconds mark, or less, or more if you want it. And then just change the fade to zero. And then click on this key right there, like that. So now you can see that we have a fading in animation as well. So now we can just save. And then after that, we want to make it so that the uh, animation will actually transition smoothly to the uh, BP first person character. So it actually looks smooth uh, when it transitions to the character when playing. Because right now, if we don't add this, it will just snap to the player character and it will look very bad. So we can do this simply by just uh, going to the camera cuts right here. And then just right clicking and select this can blend. Like that. And what this will do is that it will add this uh, yellow arrows right here. And what we will do is to actually select that yellow arrow and then just drag it to where we want the uh, transition to start, uh, go to the player. So I want it to take about two seconds, maybe one second for the uh, transition to be. So now you can see that we have this fading effect right here. And this is the fading transition to the actual player. So after that we can just save. And now we want to apply this animation to the actual uh, player when we start the game. So we want to go to this icon right here. We want to open level blueprint. Like that. And then we want to go back. And we want to drag out our sequence into the level. So we can do that simply by just going in back into the content browser and going into our uh, sequence right here and then just simply drag it out like that. So now we have our uh, animation in the actual level. So then go back into the uh, level blueprint and just drag in our waking up animation into the uh, level blueprint like that Then out of here we want to play Like that and this will uh, play our uh, sequencer Just like that and before we play our sequence We want to make sure that we can't walk because right now if we will connect these two our player could still move around so we would so first we want to just drag you out, we want to disable input and the target will be get player oh, player character. Then drag you into there and then after the uh, sequence is done, so we want a delay and this delay duration should be how long your sequence is. 
So how to check that is to just simply go to your sequence and then just drag this arrow right here to the end of the sequence. And you can see that mine, my sequence is actually 15.0333 seconds long. So I can just copy this number, go back to the duration, paste it in, and then once it's completed, I want to enable the input and the target will be the get player character. Just like that. Now we can just compile and save and let's try it out. So if I click on play, you can see that it actually fades in and it will play the animation right here. And then we can play. But as you saw, it looks very weird because the animation actually ends right here, but our character starts right here. So how to easily fix this is to actually just drag out a player start, like that. And then you can see that our sequence ends right here, as you can see. So I want to just drag my uh, player into the location where the actual sequence ends. So right here, just like that. So now compile, and if I just play again, and yeah, it works 100% fine. So yeah, that is how to make a smooth animation opening scene uh, when playing your game in first person mode. And you can of course add sounds as well, so if you want maybe the character to say something or maybe the clothes moving or anything, you can just add a, a audio track right here uh, and then just add a audio if you want to and then just select where you want it to be. So yeah, there is a simple tutorial on how to create this uh, opening startup animation to your game. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, just join Discord. If you want to buy my VHS project, link in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video where I will be playing your games. So yeah, bye.